Hey guys, for today's video, I have a very casual, very laid back one. I just wanted to chill today. I just kind of wanted to do a get ready with me. A chatty get ready with me, if you will. I have a few new things, not a ton of stuff that either I have not tried yet or that I've only tried like once and I don't really know how I feel about it yet. I'm in the mood to just talk. I mean, that's always, but especially today I'm like, I'm just not feeling anything. Like, I just want to get ready with you guys. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to jump right in. I'm, I'm not even going to take it anywhere else. So um, I'm probably not going to be talking too much on technique. Like, I'm not really going to be focusing on what I'm doing. I mean, I'm sure I'll let you guys know here and there. Um, but really, I just kind of want to chit chat, play with a few new things that I've never played with before. I'll make sure to leave everything in the description box so you guys know what I used in case you're interested. Anywho, so what is up, everybody? Let me know in the comments below how you're day is going. Um, today's Monday for me. I usually upload on Mondays. I do my best to upload three times a week. Sometimes it's hard for me because, well, YouTube isn't like my only job. I have other stuff to do too. Um, but I try to do the best that I can. And, you know, I know I said in the beginning of the year I was going to keep a schedule of Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. And I'm not going to lie, it's been a little difficult. I'm having a hard time kind of balancing um, doing everything. And, you know, I can't film on the weekends because I'm busy on the weekends. I either have clients to do or I have family stuff or like, you know, the weekends are the only time I get to spend with my grandma. I always spend Sundays with her if I don't have clients. And then um, it's the only time I really get to spend with friends. But it's also the only time I get to spend with my husband because he works during the week and he works like, you know, regular like nine to five. I mean, those aren't his hours, but it's like, you know, regular daytime job and we don't um, get to see each other because he works a lot. He actually works at um, an, one of the oil plants here in Houston, and I don't know if this was on the news or not. It was huge here in Houston because they had a um, like shelter in place. They were like telling everybody not to leave their house if they didn't have to because one of the oil plants here um, exploded. It caught on fire. It was seeping into the ship channel, um, which if you're not familiar with the Houston area, um, Houston is a really big oil city. There's a ton of oil companies here because my husband works at one of the companies there. So we live very close by. So from my backyard, you could actually see like billows of smoke. I might've posted it on Snapchat or Instagram. I can't really remember, but I think it's called benzene which is like a toxic chemical that can literally kill you. So they were advising people not even, especially if they lived in the close vicinity, not to leave their house, to stay indoors, don't do outside things. And it sucked because um, it was like perfect weather all last week. And I like to, when I'm home during the day, sit outside with Charlie and I take him out and he likes to roam in the backyard. Before I start talking about the story, I'm gonna be playing with this palette. I just got this um, from the Ulta VIB sale. There's a little lint stuck to it. It's the Desi Katie and Dose of Colors palette. I've swatched it, but I haven't used it yet. So I'm gonna start with this shade right here. We'll see how this works. I'm so excited to use this, but let me like start doing my makeup before um, I get into the story. It's not really a story, but you know, just kind of like talking to you guys. Just a fire in general, but especially at an oil company because duh, fire and oil don't mix well, clearly. So they put the fire out and then they found a leak and then another fire started. So it's, I mean, it's out now, I think. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's out, but it was like for an entire week, it was like they could not contain the fire and then it started leaking into the actual ship channel, like the body of water. And it was like pretty scary, I'm not gonna lie. From our backyard, it was just like blacks. It was so bad, it was so bad and I was like, all of that pollution like going into the earth and going into the air they closed down the schools because it was so bad um i don't know if they closed them throughout the whole city but they closed them on our side of town and like within 15 20 minutes of us my friend was like i feel like we're in bird box right now like there's something that they're not telling us but yeah it was like so freaking scary we did not like i did not leave the house i didn't let charlie out to play in the backyard he was not happy with me because he likes to just chill when we first wake up in the morning I'll open the back door and he just likes to roam around. We have our routine in the mornings and he was not happy and the weather was absolute perfection. It was so beautiful outside. I'm kind of feeling like mauve tones today. I think I'll save those dramatic colors for another day. So I'm gonna take this shade next. Um, I'm not telling you guys the names, but I'll leave them in the description below. But here in Houston, it is either hot or it's really hot. It was like 70 to 75. 
there was no humidity, it was like a beautiful sunny day, there were beautiful clouds in the sky, and I remember thinking like, are you fucking kidding me? This is like really the only time of year where we can kind of just like enjoy and it's not like the worst weather ever because it's hot as balls regularly. When it's like the most perfect weather ever, we can't go outside, how annoying. Anyways, I don't know if that was like talked about on the news, like I'm gonna be honest, I don't watch the news. Um, I don't really watch TV at all. I'm more of like, you know, a Netflix, a Hulu type of gal. I watch YouTube videos or I'll catch up on my shows on Netflix or on demand or something like that. I would be perfectly okay with just not having a TV. Um, the only thing I watch TV, like on the regular TV, is when we're eating dinner, we watch Family Feud every night. It's literally my dream to be on Family Feud. I feel like Kim Kardashian, did you guys see that episode of the Kardashians where she was like, it's our dream to be on Family Feud, we wanna win, blah, blah, blah. Like that's literally me and my sister-in-law. When we have a uh, game night sometimes, they have Family Feud and we literally practice like we act like we're on the show because one day I don't care what it takes we're gonna be on that show I'm always shouting at people when they have stupid ass answers and I'm like why would you say that you should have said this like you got to think like the average person thinks you know and some people are just like I'm like why would you say that these are blending beautifully I read mixed reviews on this on the Ulta website and I was like ooh well I'm still gonna buy it and test it out because I wanted to try it and it's blending out great I don't know where those reviews came from granted I've only tried two matte shades but they're like butter like they're really really smooth I think some of the reviews I read were that the mattes were really patchy I don't really feel like I'm having that issue okay so I'm gonna keep this look pretty simple I'm not really gonna do anything crazy so I'm gonna take this one this like pinky coppery shade oh you know what this reminds me of the tart chrome paint fire dancer yeah that's the name of it that's absolutely beautiful but this has a little bit more pink in it whereas the tart one i think has a little bit more red i can't wait to do a more dramatic look um i'll probably do an over the weekend there is a selena tribute concert that me and my husband and some friends, my sister-in-law, we're all going to on Friday. Um, if you guys didn't know, I'm like obsessed with Selena. I like live, breathe, and die for her. I don't know any Spanish. I know like the bare minimum of Spanish only because um, my in-laws are Mexican and like I really don't even know that much <laughs> Spanish. Um, I know like what to order at a restaurant and that's pretty much it. I know all the words to her songs, which is so crazy because I'm like, I don't know what she's saying, but I know them just from hearing them over and over. There's a tribute band here in Houston and I'll leave them below if you guys are in the area because they are... Man, they're fucking good. Like, they're so good. I saw this band for the first time last year. They played at the House of Blues in downtown Houston. They play at House of Blues all the time, so I've actually seen them like three or four times. I mean, they play at different venues throughout the city, but um, I've seen them at House of Blues a handful of times. They're doing um, the same tribute concert this year at House of Blues, but they're actually doing um, a concert at a bar like 10 minutes from my house and you know we live pretty close to downtown we're only about 15 maybe 20 minutes away so we're not far at all I was like man I really don't want to go downtown because I feel like every city's downtown is just a pain in the ass I've lived in a few cities and I've traveled to a lot of different cities and I feel like every downtown is kind of the same like there's never parking. You always have to pay like a ridiculous amount for parking. It's always crowded at these types of events. And you know, I'm not like a homebody or anything like that. I like to go out and I like to do things, but you know, sometimes it's just like, oh, it's kind of like a hassle. And this event is definitely that. It's kind of a hassle because it's always packed, first of all, because it's a Selena tribute concert. It's like one of the biggest ones that they have in Houston. The band's really good. People love them. They're like they're they're really good. They're amazing. You have to buy tickets and then it's if you want to drink, it's like so expensive to drink at the House of Blues. This is like my biggest complaint. And I was like, like we me and Matthew went last year and you know the tickets were like $25 or $30 a piece. So and I promise you I'm not stingy. Like I'm coming off as like, oh my god, this girl is so stingy. I, I'm really not. You know, we we love to have a good time and we love to do things and 
you know, we don't mind spending money, but it's just kind of like for me to like go and be surrounded by so many people and it's crowded and you can barely walk and it's cramped and it's not really like you can just like enjoy yourself. I mean, I did enjoy myself. It was an amazing concert, but it was also so freaking crowded. Um, we had to walk like six blocks for parking. You have to pay to get in, you have to pay to park. It's just like a hassle, I guess. It's really expensive to drink there and you know, my husband and I are drinkers. I don't really like to go to clubs. I don't like to go to bars where I have to spend like $10 a drink, especially cause I'm a drinker. Like I'll drink the, I could drink the whole night. I'm really not trying to sound like, oh, I'm such a badass or this and that. It's just like, I can drink, you know? We're gonna spend like two, $300. That's just a lot. And we don't go out that often. We do a lot of family things. We do a lot of like uh, things with our friends where, you know, they have us over and we play games or, you know, they barbecue. Like we have this one couple friend of ours um, that they entertain all the time. They live like right down the street from us. They love to entertain and we're always at their house. We have family night with my in-laws or you know that's just the kind of stuff we like to do. I'm just like I'm past the stage in my life where I need to go out all the time. Like I'm cool with just staying close to home you know I'm okay with that and then plus like if we know we're gonna be drinking we have to take an uber anyways that was like a long drawn out story this band they're playing at a sports bar like 10 minutes from our house so there's just a cover it's like a ten dollar cover or something like that and it's a sports bar so it's super cheap to drink there we've actually been there a few times before and so we're gonna go see them there um they're playing this weekend and then we're just not gonna go to the show and at house of blues and that was like such a fucking long ass fucking story I'm so excited so I was thinking I could do these like more bold colors for a look when we go to uh, see that band play. What a long fucking story just to tell you guys that. For lashes I'm gonna take one of these two pairs. These are from Buku. I've worked with them in the past. I love her lashes. They're so beautiful. This video is not sponsored by the way. I know she sponsored one of my past videos, like one of my lash videos. This video is not sponsored. She just came out with these new lashes and she asked me if I wanted to try them and I said yes of course. She also stocked me up on my favorite ones which thank you so much. I love those lashes. I'm like fully stocked. Like I have some in my kit. I gave some to my sister when she was here. I'm pretty sure I have some saved for a giveaway I'm gonna do eventually and I think I have like a bunch of backups so thank you again she came out with this new style they're called Ms. Envy um, this one is 25 millimeters so I guess they're just different lengths because these are also called Ms. Envy but I think these are just a different length let me see it's on here I put these behind this so you guys could get a better look at it since this is clear but do you see how pretty they are they're so fluffy these are the 21 millimeters but they're a little thicker they have a little packaging upgrade. We have the glitter background. Look these up on the website. They're only $12. Nobody said they wanted to see this, but I think I just want to film this. I want to talk about my favorite lashes that are like not necessarily cheap like drugstore, but they're not like $20 price range. I have a lot of flutter lashes that I love, but they're like around 12 bucks. I think I want to do that video. Let me know if you guys want to see that. But I'm going to take these, the ones that are a little more separated. I think that if I were to ever come out with a brand, I would start with either lip products or lashes for sure. Off camera, um, I did put on the first lashes I told you about, the 25 millimeter ones. They were beautiful, first of all, but they were just a little too long for this type of look. I think those would be better suited for like a black smoky eye, a really dark smoky eye where you need lashes to kind of stand out behind the darkness of the makeup. And I'm just not going for that look today. So I switched to the 21 millimeter and I think these are better suited for this type of look where I just didn't want anything super dramatic. Also, she sent me an extra of each pair. Um, I have so many lashes and I think these are good for me. I just need one of each. So I'm gonna throw those in a giveaway. I want you guys to try out this brand because I really love them. I already did my Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. I'm almost out of my 100 point perk Sephora. I'm like squeezing it. I need to get another one because I love it so much. It's so good. Um, but I don't think I've used this one yet. This is the Catrice Prime and Fine um, Keep Me Matte. I think maybe I used it once. I honestly don't remember, but I'm going to use it today because I want to. Um, oh, it's white. It looks like, I'm not going to say what it looks like. That would be inappropriate. This was recommended to me from one of you guys. So I guess it's for pores and for anti-shine. Um, my skin hasn't been as 
oily lately. It's so weird. I don't know if it's because of the weather still. I'm taking these two foundations. I did mostly this one because this is still too dark for me. I have yet to pick up a lighter shade. I don't know why I need to I need to do that this weekend because I love this foundation with my entire heart and soul. I'm going to take this with a beauty blender and just blend it in. I'm into like a lighter base lately. Also, while we're on the topic of the beauty blender, I think I want to talk about this. I'm not usually one to get involved in controversial topics. It's just not my thing. Um, I'm also not really one to like get involved in drama. It's definitely not my thing. But I think I want to talk about this because this really pissed me off when I saw this. I actually don't even follow them on Instagram, but I saw somebody post about this in their story. And if you guys are following me on Instagram, you know this, but Beauty Blender posted a picture, which I'll insert somewhere here. Basically kind of calling out real techniques and saying that they copied them and just pretty much being like, petty as fuck as one who loves the beauty blender like I live for the beauty blender it is my favorite sponge I love other more affordable sponges as well but the beauty blender is my favorite mostly because of the shape because I just haven't found a sponge with that perfect texture but has this for me to get up in this area but you guys know I love real techniques I use it in my kit and I love L'Oreal funny enough I'm about to talk some shit about Beauty Blender while I'm using a Beauty Blender. I actually have no more sponges. This is my only one. I mean, I have sponges in my kit, but they're for my clients. I'm not going to use them on myself. So this is literally the only sponge I have in my collection right now. I think I have a Sonia Kashuk one, but I used it, I tried it, and I just wasn't a fan. To me, it was kind of like they were just starting shit, you know? It was like they were just starting drama. They were being petty. It was very mean girl. Uh, very, um, like, out of nowhere, like, unnecessary, you know? Like, what was the point of posting that? Like, what did you get out of posting that? It just, it really bothered me. And again, I'm telling you, I'm not one for drama. I'm not one to even, like, talk about it. I don't fucking care about what goes on in other people's lives. I don't watch drama videos. I'm not about that life. It's not me. I stick to myself. I stick to my family. I stick to my friends. And I don't get involved in bullshit. Did it make you feel good to basically online bully another brand? Because that's how I saw it from an outside consumer perspective. I'm not real big on cancel culture. I think cancel culture is so fucking stupid. I hate when people are like canceled hashtag canceled like i know a lot of people did that with beauty blender foundation and tart and although i'm not defending their shade range because their shade range their shade range whack you know shade range is a problem where i feel like it still happens but it needs to stop happening i couldn't imagine not having a color for my skin tone especially for deeper skin tones you know it, this is like a known thing that always it's always been the deeper skin tones that are neglected and it's not fair to not have something that caters to everyone it's just not fucking fair sometimes i watch people's videos and they talk about shade range and they're like this shade range is bullshit i'm never going to use anything from that brand again and i'm like oh, come on i want to stress that i'm not saying that that's okay but also at the same time if a brand tries to like do better and they they try to fix the problem i think it's okay to forgive i just want to clarify that you know i don't agree with like the shade ranges and how they're just not inclusive it's not fair it's not fair okay have something for everybody or work until you perfect it that's just an example i see a lot is you know when brands just make one mistake eyeshadow palette isn't perfect they're like this is bullshit. I'm never using this brand again. I see it with people too. People get crucified if they make one little mistake. By the way, I'm using this uh, powder from Wet n Wild. It's this new translucent one. I believe it just came out. I used it one time, but again, I can't remember if I liked it, so I'm gonna use it again today. But anyways, you can ask anybody who knows me. I get over things so quickly. I don't hold grudges. I am not like one to be like, you fucked up. I can't believe you did that. I, I never talk to me again. That's not me. I'm not that person. Now, of course, we're not talking about like cheating husbands, backstabbing friends, things like that. I can empathize with people to a certain extent, you know, and I'm just not one to hold a grudge. It's just my personality. I, I don't hold fucking grudges. Now, if somebody were to do something fucked up where I'm like questioning you as a person and I'm like, why would you even do that? Okay, that's a different story. When it comes to people just canceling every brand and every one for every little thing, I think that's crazy. I think it's immature and I think it's petty and it's like, grow the fuck up. Back to the point I'm trying to make. Beauty Blender posted this post. They got such a huge amount of backlash. 
like people just rip them apart. It was so ugly, so petty and immature for coming after a brand that number one, you didn't invent the beauty sponge. I think you probably popularized, I don't know if that's a word, but I think Beauty Blender made the sponge popular. They didn't invent makeup sponges. The second thing is that the sponges are not even similar. They're not the same color, they're not even the same shape, and they're different price points. Not everybody can afford a $20 sponge, okay? That's a very luxury item to have for Beauty Blender. And in fact, when I first started using the Beauty Blender, it took me a lot because I started using it when I was in college. I was young. I didn't have a lot of money because I was in school. There were so many times where I would need to buy a new one and I was like, I just can't, I can't afford it. You know, I just can't afford it. And I loved it, but I just couldn't afford it being a young, broke college student. And I think it's amazing that Real Techniques came out with a sponge that's five bucks. I don't know who's in charge of their social media. I don't know who approved that post, but I don't know how they were expecting to not get backlash because it was just such a fucked up mean girl thing to do. This is from Cover Effects. I got this in my BoxyCharm. It is the Perfector Face Palette. I'm gonna use this right here to contour. The whole reason why I kind of started off with cancel culture is because I wanna stress how I think cancel culture is just like, whack. I, I really think it's whack, but when we're talking about like people making mistakes and then trying to fix their mistakes and then trying to do better in the future and taking their customers feedback and being like, you know what, we're sorry, we're going to do better. You know, that's something I can respect versus a mean brand, especially a brand. We're not even talking about a person. We're talking about a brand. I'm not going to lie. I'm still going to use this beauty blender until it goes bad because it's a new sponge and I'm not going to waste my money. For me, I don't think that I want to support a mean brand. I just, I, I don't like, I don't like that. I'm sure there's other brands who have started shit and drama and, you know, have said ugly things, but it's just like, I, I saw this on Instagram and I was like, they're being bullies and I don't like that. That's not cool. And you know what? I love the Beauty Blender, but I love Real Techniques and I use Real Techniques more than the Beauty Blender. Real Techniques has a whole brush line. What has the Beauty Blender come out with besides their foundation? I'm pretty sure they just have the sponges, the mini sponges, and cleaners for the sponges, and now their foundation, but like, what the fuck else have they done? I would never post something on my Instagram about if somebody was copying me, or if somebody like did a look that I did and didn't credit me. I would be like, okay, whatever. I don't fucking care. I don't fucking care. We're in an industry where there's only so much you can do. There's only so many sponges you can come out with. There's only so many brushes you can come out with. There's only so many warm tone palettes that you can come out with. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's like, why even just like take it down that lane? They posted something else that said like, oh, we're glad we have your attention. Now we're giving away you know, a hundred beauty blenders to the first hundred people who DM us. It just kind of seemed like they were like, oh shit, like we need to do damage control now. Now we need to like give away free beauty blenders so we can kind of like fix what we did. It was just like an ugly side of the brand that I wish I never saw because I'm gonna be thinking twice about buying beauty blender again. Am I saying I'm never gonna buy one again? No, I don't know. It's definitely gonna make me think twice about buying it, you know? Anyways, I just wanted to talk about that because it really bothered me. So I'm gonna take this from BH. I haven't used this in a while and I wanna use it again. I have it in the front of my blush. Ooh, so I can remember to use it. Might've went in a little too heavy with that. I just don't think it's cool to bring other people down and other brands down. And I'm, I'm just not here for that. There's room for everybody. I don't see them coming for L'Oreal or Morphe. For highlight, I'm gonna take a mixture of these in the palette. I just mix all these together. I do these two and then I do a dab of that and this highlights are really, really beautiful. I really like that. I think it's so pretty, it's so shiny. I'm gonna go in with this one. This is called Just a Kiss. And I remember when this launched, I watched their reveal video and I was most excited about this shade because it's supposed to be just a kiss of color. But I'm gonna take this for my inner corner. Let's see how that looks. Oh, pretty. When I swatch this, this looks a little bit more of just like 
a kind of like a clear base with little flecks of glitter. Um, but it's actually showing up more champagne. That's very pretty. Champagne pinky, maybe? Then I'm actually gonna go into the Cover FX palette and I'm gonna take this lightest highlight right here. I'm gonna do this for the brow bone. Finish off with some mascara. I love these lashes. The more I look at them, the more in love with them I fall. Also, I really like this powder. It, it really smoothed out my pores. My pores are a little visible right here, so I'm not sure that primer did like the best at filling them in. They look more filled in, but just not as much as I would like. But it looks very smooth over here. I've really been having a lot of issue lately with cakiness in this area. And I don't know if my skin's changing, if it's just cause the weather is not like, you know, 100% like warm again. I keep kind of like trying different things constantly. So I'm not sure what it is, um, but also I wanted to tell you guys, I think the e.l.f. primer is breaking me out. Oh shit, it like squirted all over me. Oh my goodness. Okay, just let that soak into my skin. I was using the e.l.f. primer for a really long time, ever since I did my e.l.f. video. I really do like it, but I think it's breaking me out. I notice it with their skincare too. I've tried some of their skincare and I, I feel like I just have like little red bumps on my face. It was having a reaction, that's what it looked like. And it was only in the area where I used the primer, so I'm taking a break from that. I'm gonna let my skin clear up a little bit and then maybe try it again. And if my skin has that same reaction, I know it's that primer. And I'm sad because I really like it. It's a really good, um, affordable primer, and it's from the freaking drugstore. Like it's great, but I think um, I, th I think it's breaking me out. I'm just gonna fill this front part of my brow in. Kind of wiped it away when I. Um, went in and did my foundation. So I just just to the front, just like that. I used Dip Brow today. I have not used Dip Brow in so long. I forgot how much I love it. Like my brows are like snatched, bitch. I usually don't do clear brow gel when I do Dip Brow, but I will if I have like highlight in my brows just to get powder and stuff out. So just a quick little brush through. Oh, man, I really hope it's picking it up on camera how reflective this eyeshadow is. It is so pretty. It's just like sparkly heaven. It looks beautiful. My allergies are insane right now. I cannot even, like throughout this whole video, I'm gonna edit it out. I've been sneezing nonstop. I'm gonna take um, <laughs> my teeny tiny lip liner. I have this sitting on top of my vanity so I can finish it off because I have a backup already. So I've been using this um, like a lot. Cause I'm trying to get rid of it. This is MAC Half Red, by the way. I think I'm just gonna go for like a simple lip, like something just glossy. The only place I'll really overline is just a little bit at the top because my bottom lip is naturally a lot fuller than my top lip. I don't have lip fillers. People ask me that all the time. I don't have lip fillers. My top lips are really uneven, but I will probably not get lip fillers. Um, so I do overline the top just slightly. I barely go over the lip line. And then I just make it a little bit straighter right here. Not too much, but just a little. I'm gonna fill it in today. I'm gonna take the Fenty Gloss Bomb. I saw somebody use this in a tutorial recently. I cannot remember who it was. It was someone. And I was like, damn, I have that and I never use it. I was like, oh yeah, I gotta pull that out again. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so this is the finished look. Um, I know I did a lot of talking, a lot of bitching, and testing a few new things at the same time. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this type of content, let me know below. I mean, I don't know if people care about like my feelings on things, but if you do, go ahead and let me know. And we can talk about other topics if you want. Like, I'm really down to film whatever you guys want to see. Make sure you subscribe before you go and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Stay tuned. My next one will be my spring one, I promise. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. You guys already know that. Any suggestions you guys have below, just leave them in the comments. I'm more than happy to film it. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye! Do you love me? And I will... I, I will what? What will I do? Read times. Why did I stutter? Any suggestions? Okay.